everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today we are doing yet another eyeshadow usage update where the goal is to randomize an eyeshadow from my entire collection, use that shade 10 times, and from that shade using that palette ideally holistically 10 times, get a good sense of the palette, get a good sense of the eyeshadow, decide do I love it, do I want to keep it, do I want to clutter, rip it apart, all of that good stuff. I have three eyeshadows that I'm working on at a given time, and I have two rollouts this month. So we get to do, of course, my favorite part, which is rolling in two new shades, not just one. So I'm very, very excited with what I've been able to do in this project. My oldest eyeshadow currently comes from the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. I had rolled in the shade Supernova, so I'll show you what that looked like last time. Another thing to note, of course, keep in mind that I'm not digging to try to hit pan or putting my brush in the same spot. I am trying to use my eyeshadows a little bit more holistically. I'm wearing it down more evenly for the most part. But you'll see with Supernova, we do have a pretty good dip going on it. And I have reached for it the last couple times to reach my 10 use goal. Palette is super reflective, but there's a bit of an angle so we can see things. This is what the palette looks like. And this is the shade Supernova. I'll just throw up a video so you can actually see it without all the reflective glare from the packaging. I have been enjoying using this palette. I think I might actually be close to hitting pan on Supernova, which is really exciting. Supernova hasn't translated as nicely as I would like it to on the eyes. I feel like it's much more shifty and duochrome on the hand swatch versus the actual eyelid. But it's been nice. I've been enjoying it and I have liked reaching for this palette. But that is a goal met and this is going to be leaving this project. But the palette, of course, will stay in my collection because I enjoy it a lot. Next up is my Persona Identity 2 palette. So I rolled this shade in. So I rolled in the shade Limitless, which of course is the matte black. Um, I am wearing this palette today. I am using the black in the outer corner to deepen things up and it's not really gonna move. This is the palette. That's Limitless right there. Yeah. I have done well with this one though. I have reached for this six times, including today's look. So I only have four more uses to reach my goal on it. And obviously with it being the black, although it does lead to a darker, smokier look, at least it's very versatile because then I can reach into anything else in this palette. Today I have Loyal in the crease. I have Limitless in the outer corner. I have Resilient just a little bit beside that. And then I have Honest all over the rest of the lid. I've done that look a couple times, it's been a go-to. I'll probably do the same look with the gold, which is unique, because um, I do like the, how that one looks as well, but this one is going to stay in. And the last palette was one I had not used before rolling it in, which is the case with most of my eyeshadows. That is from Essence. This is their London eyeshadow palette. This is more of like a cool toned palette. It's very pretty, I'm enjoying it. And of course I probably picked the worst shade for myself, which is shade Number three, because one, two, and three. Um, this is a very difficult shade. It was untouched before putting it in the project. I did put it in the crease. That went very orange, very intense. Not the most flattering, I don't think, on my skin tone. Um, so that wasn't so good. How I got most of my uses, and I did reach for this 10 times, um, is essentially I opted to use this as an eyeshadow setting shade. Not your normal shade that you use it on, but a very light layer to set my primer. Um, and then that just gave a more of a warmth to the base. So usually I would layer either this one, or I used this one, or I used this one. These don't have names, sorry. Um, but it gave such a nice warmth to it, so I did enjoy it that way. Much more than trying to use this as like an actual, like obviously it's a focus, but a focus in the look. So I did get some good usage. This is the shade that I got the most because, you know, all over the lid. Just a tiny bit of usage on number three, but that is a goal met. 
So this is also gonna roll out. All right, so we have my old color story of those three shades. So we have that duochrome pink color. We have a matte black, which is gonna be staying in. And we have the matte orange, which is super bright. Two of them are leaving. So this is the start of my current color story, which is the black Limitless from Persona Identity 2. But now we get to roll in my two new shades. So I'm so excited about that. So let's just dive into it. So I am pulling up my pretty random app. I've got my numbers in, we're ready to go. I'll roll some numbers, I'll compare them to my spreadsheet, we'll pull some palettes, and let's see what I'm working on for the next month. So we've got our first number is 283, and our second number is three. Wow. There, now you can actually see it. Whoops, rolling again. I've pulled my palettes. I haven't looked at shades yet, but first off we had shade number 283. That comes from my Tarte Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Sunrise Palette. This was a Boxy Charm Palette, and it is a neutral everyday palette. So this is what we're looking like. The shade I'm rolling in is Icon, which is... Oh, okay. Icon is this shade right here. As you can see, I do have some uses on it already. Um, I did have this palette in this project before, and that is the shade Icon right there. So a beautiful summery bronze color. It's gonna be great. And then shade number three, you never expect something so early in your list, like single digits, what are those? Um, and that actually comes from my Natasha Denona Mini Biba palette. This came in a Sephora Favorites kit. Again, one of those nice neutral everyday shades. Shade number three in my collection is this one right here. So that is the shade L. Obviously, because I use these palettes together, it really doesn't matter which one I rolled in because I would use all three of these. I have used this palette before. Yeah, there we go. A nice neutral crease color there. Now, all of these could make a pretty good look. I mean, the the black is quite stark, but you could use it as an eyeliner. But of course, I use all of these things separately. But that is going to be my third shade. So that was, again, L. All right, so this is my new color story. So three new colors to work on. In terms of gold for the next month, obviously, I want to get my last four uses on that black. Get it out of here. And then from there, that's a great question from there. What do I want to do from that point? We'll see, we'll play, we'll play, we'll experiment. I may put more focus on some of the eyeshadows that I have in other projects, just because these are great every day. Both the palettes are also smaller for like summer traveling in case I end up doing any. Um, but that is the current color story and I'm very excited. But at the very least, one new roll up for next time. It's gonna be great. But that's gonna wrap up today's eyeshadow usage project. So of course, let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.